Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Reebuck, and I am responsible for religious education here at St. Joseph Catholic Church. I'm so happy that we can be together once again for Children's Liturgy of the Word. This week is the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we will begin with a reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Some people who worked for King Zedekiah said to him, Jeremiah is telling our people new things about God. Our soldiers don't want to fight anymore because of what he says. The people listen to him and then they are confused. He is not trying to help our people. He is trying to hurt them. Let us kill him. The king said, do whatever you want with him. So they took Jeremiah out to the courtyard, tied him with ropes, and lowered him into a deep sewer. There wasn't any water in the sewer, just mud, and Jeremiah sank down into it. Later, someone else who worked for the king went to him and said, King Zedekiah, it was wrong of those men to throw the prophet Jeremiah into the sewer. He will die of hunger in there. So the king said, take three people from here to help you. Go and pull Jeremiah out of the sewer before he dies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, boys and girls, we will now sing our responsorial song and our gospel acclamation. for the Lord and he stooped toward me of the pit of destruction out of the mud of the swamp he set my feet upon a crag he made firm my steps Lord, Lord come to my put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look on in awe and trust in the Lord. Lord, Lord, come to my aid. afflicted and poor, yet the Lord thinks of me. You are my help and my deliverer. Oh my God, hold not back. Lord, Lord, come to my
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. says the Lord, I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the people, If you want to be my disciple, you must not be selfish. You must accept the cross every day and live as I do. If you try to save your own life, you will lose it. But If you are willing to give up your life for me, you will save your life. What good is it if you have everything you want in the world, but you do not go to heaven? For if you are ashamed of me and what I teach you, I will not take you with me to be with God and the angels. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, today I have something to show you. All of you know what this is, right? Of course you do. It's a crucifix. Every day we see crucifixes all around us. Sometimes people wear them as jewelry, Sometimes people hang them on the wall. Sometimes people use them as keychains. And sometimes people even tattoo them on their bodies. When you pass by a Catholic church, you might see a crucifix on the outside of the church as well. Boys and girls, what thoughts come to your mind when you see a crucifix? What does a crucifix mean to you? Is it just a piece of jewelry or a work of art? In the verses immediately preceding today's gospel reading, Jesus is praying by himself. The apostles are also with him, and he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? The apostles reply by saying, Some think that you are John the Baptist, others Elijah. Still others think you are one of the ancient prophets that has arisen from the dead. Jesus then says to them, but who do you say that I am? This time, it is only Peter who answers, saying, you are the Messiah of God. Boys and girls, Peter had given the correct answer. Now, you might think that Jesus' lesson would end there, but it does not. Rather, Jesus goes on to warn the apostles not to tell anyone who he really is. He tells them, the son of man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed on the third day to be raised. Today's gospel reading begins with Jesus addressing the entire crowd of people who had gathered to come join him and the apostles. Jesus says to this group of people, if you want to be my disciple, you must not be selfish. You must accept the cross every day and live as I do. If you try to save your own life, you will lose it. But if you are willing to give up your life for me, you will save your life. What good is it if you have everything you want in the world, but you do not go to heaven? For if you are ashamed of me and what I teach you, 
I will not take you with me to be with God and the angels. So boys and girls, what does all of this mean for us today? Well, it means that we have a savior, Jesus Christ, who was willing to give up everything so that we can have everlasting life. It also means that those of us who want to be followers of Jesus must also be willing to take up our own crosses, give up everything, and follow him. Boys and girls, this crucifix is so much more than a piece of jewelry, a work of art, or a decoration for a church. It is a reminder of Jesus Christ, our Savior, and his great love for us, and our call to follow him. This week, remember to thank God for loving us so much that he sent his only son to die for us on a cross. Most of all, as followers of Jesus, we must all remember to pray for help to take up our own crosses and follow him. All right, boys and girls, as we do every week, we will now have the renewal of our baptismal promises. So I invite you to stand. And you'll respond with the words, I do, after I ask these questions. Dear children, through his suffering, death, and resurrection, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so let us now renew the promises of holy baptism in which we renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no power over you? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I do. God, the Almighty Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven all of our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you very much for joining us today. I hope that you and your families are able to attend the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass together this weekend, and that all of you have a blessed Sunday. Additionally, I want to remind you once again that beginning Sunday, September 11th, Children's Liturgy of the Word will return to an in-person setting during the 9.45 a.m. Mass. I look forward to seeing you here next week and then once again in person the second Sunday of September. Have a blessed week.